So in this video, we will go over the quickest way to unlock the new seasonal artifact for the season. The reason this is important is Destiny has changed. Getting up to higher power levels in seasons is very, very easy, but the key is getting the key mods so you can do the build crafting you want and doing that as quick as possible, especially as a part-time guardian, is what I'll talk about in this video. First off, in every season, there's a seasonal activity. It looks like this season will be starting at the helm, just like we did last season. And it's very important to do that because typically there is a seasonal quest that allows you to get your seasonal artifact and also get you XP as, as part of that. You definitely do not want to start grinding XP until you get your artifact because if you do it after, if you get your artifact after, you don't gain that XP to gal against your artifact. So you definitely want to do that. When you're starting this out, make sure that you have the blinding light mod on your ghost. That'll give you a 12% buff. And the thing about the buffs for XP is they don't just add up, they multiply. So for instance, if you have a 12% and 8% buff, that's not 20%, that's 12% times 8% times the XP. So getting buffs and increasingly getting additional buffs is very important to get your XP up as quickly as possible to unlock those mods. Next, grab bounties from the core activities. If you save bounties from the last season, that's great. Keep in mind, saving bounties is not the fastest way to get up XP anymore, but it will help you out a great deal. But go ahead and get additional bounties that'll come in play here in a little bit. Do the core activities and the seasonal activities. There's a couple reasons for that. The core activities and seasonal activities will have weekly challenges. Those weekly challenges by themselves are 12,000 XP a piece. So that's basically, for Crucible, it's doing three Crucible matches, right? There, you'll see them in your director with little yellow icons. Additionally, turning in eight bounties on core activities will also not only reward you powerful and pinnacle drops, they'll also give you weekly challenges. But the other reason for doing that is seasonal challenges. Seasonal challenges are quite possibly the easiest way to get XP. These seasonal challenges range from 12,500 to 100,000 XP. Those seasonal activities and challenges are tied to core activity playlists. So Crucible, Strikes, and Gambit, usually a particular planet each week, and then also the seasonal activity. They'll usually require you to do things in a specific way with specific guns or burns or things like that. So that's something you'll need to keep in mind. So while you're doing the core activities and you're also collecting bounties, you can also be doing your seasonal challenges at the same time. So again, that's the easiest way to get XP. As you do that, you'll notice some of the seasonal challenges will take you more than the three matches or whatever it is to get that weekly challenge done. So what you want to do in that case is because your weekly challenges are per character your seasonal challenges per account. So what you wanna do is then switch to a second character on that account, go ahead and do your weeklies for that activity also, which will allow you to get that seasonal challenge, but it'll also allow you to get another 12,000 XP for that, for that overall account, which will, again, start getting you up towards the higher levels of the seasonal rank. So then what you wanna do, again, this depends on your playing time, but you want to go and try to do weekly challenges on that main character. Get as many through as possible. If there are ones that are a little more difficult, like raids, it's hard to get with other people. I get that, but there's a lot of easy ones as solo players that you can get fairly easily. Then try to do that on all three characters if possible. Again, it depends on your playing time, but I would try to do that as quickly as possible. Do the ones that are fastest. Again, your big core activities, your gambit, your strikes, your crucible, the weekly challenge. Those sort of things are the things you want to try to get done as quickly as possible. Then you'll notice I haven't talked about turning XP bounties in yet. There's a primary reason for that. Becoming and getting to higher on the seasonal rank and getting your artifact leveled up and doing it quickly, it's about how you sequence things, right? It's like Apollo 13. You know, they had to get the power a certain way so they could get the uh, they could get the limb powered up. Well, it's the same thing here. If you want to do things in a quick and efficient manner, try to follow this guide and it'll help you get there. So as you're leveling up the seasonal pass, you can get a max of 32% of additional XP bonuses. You get the first 20% of that by just unlocking the seasonal pass itself, by owning the seasonal pass. As you increase that seasonal rank, that, again, maxes out that 32%, and that's at rank 76. You can gain an additional 8% bonus when you're in a fire team with someone who has a high seasonal rank. Again, that 8%, so it goes 2, 4, 6, 8, that maxes out when you get to 86 on the seasonal rank. At this point, you've probably done all the activities you can or all the ones you're willing to do, again, within your amount of time and not, you know, kill yourself. And at that point, you'll be fairly high on the seasonal rank. At that point, what you're going to want to do is, if you did say bounties, go ahead, find someone that's either at your seasonal pass level or higher, you know, preferably if you get all the 86, that'd be awesome because that would be the max rank. And again, go ahead and turn your bounties into all three characters. Again, remember, 
All of those bonuses I talked about, the 32%, the 8%, the 12%, all those bonus are multiplicative on top of each other. So it's it, these really come in handy, and that's why you want to wait to turn your bounties until you do this. And that's really it. The seasonal grind this time is less about hoarding bounties. It's been like that for a few seasons now. It's more about being selective on how you play the game and being smart about how you do your weekly and seasonal challenges and use your XP bonuses to go up as quickly as possible. The best mods on the artifact open up after level 14 the artifact, and if you play smart, this can be achieved in a matter of hours very quickly. That's the video, guys. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you guardians in the tower.